In the last section, we looked at how MIDI works in Reason and how you can program and record and edit MIDI to make sounds. And those sounds are generated in Reason by its instruments. And these are modules that live in the rack. There are lots of different types of instruments with different focuses, uh, which can help you do different things. So in this video, let's start by looking at Reason's drum modules, because a lot of the time you'll probably start your projects with a beat of some sort. Let's begin with the Redrum. Now the Redrum is Reason's oldest drum module, but it's still very useful. It's still there. And you can create it either by going to the Create menu at the top, or you can drag a Redrum in to a project from the tool window here. So if we find it, there it is. Redrum drum computer. And we drop that in and make some space. So this is the Redrum. It has 10 channels, each of which can hold a sample. And you can load patches by going to the patch load section, which is here. And as we've noticed before, with the browser, you can preview kits from the browser, which is really useful because it means you don't have to load a kit and then go back into the project, play it, see if you like it, and then maybe change it if you don't like it. If I select a kit, it's loaded in the background, and I can play it. So there's a techno kit. Let's try something else. Let's try a hip hop kit. That's pretty cool. Let's load that. So what the Redrum does is it loads a sound into each of its 10 channels. And those channels are accessible from keys on your MIDI keyboard. Now there are only 10 channels, so only 10 keys on your keyboard will trigger those sounds. You can preview a sound by using these trigger buttons on each channel. Each channel is independent and can be routed separately, as we'll see later. By default, you get a stereo output from the drum machine, so everything goes through one stereo channel. Programming the read drum can be done either by playing notes into the sequencer using a MIDI clip, like we saw in the last section. Um, you can also use its built-in pattern sequencer, and we had, did have a brief look at that as well before. So let's program a beat and then we'll have a look at how to tweak the sounds in the redrum. So I'm just going to set up a loop here. I'm going to take my tempo down slightly, let's say to 100 BPM. And I'm going to give myself a click track and a pre-count just to record a beat. Okay, so there's our beat. I'm going to quantize that so that it sounds decent. Um, let's try that. Turn the click off. Okay, so we don't need the sequencer for the next part. There's a master level control on Redrum, which will take the main output up or down. And you can see that when the project is playing, the samples that I'm triggering are lit up. So that gives you a nice little preview of how it's working. 